Okay, so to get underneath them, you have to lift them up. Make sure they feel secure against your chest so they can sit on your lap. Just kind of sit with you. Kind of spoon the bunny. <laughs> um, and that will expose their, their more delicate regions. They don't particularly care for this oftentimes, so you have to just pay attention to how their heart is beating and how they're reacting. If they start kicking, of course, that's an obvious sign. Um, they really don't like their legs being touched much, but sometimes you just have to. Um, and oftentimes using two people, one person holding and the other person working, will take care of things. But you see, there he told me he was done with that bit. <laughs> but that's how you have to, to approach him to get rid of any mats that are under their chin or on their belly. However, if you are grooming them, um, and you groom them frequently, as you, as you brush them out, we'll do it with the rake because it's easier to see. I reach under and, and groom, and then I reach a little bit further under, because they are so, well, gelatinous, gelatinous <laughs> that is the word, um, I can basically groom their entire underbelly just from lifting up from mm -hmm. the side and I never have to worry. So here is a mat, for example, just a little one. You see, I'm able to just pull, pull right that mat right out and that was on, its, on his belly. And I never had to worry about turning him upside down to, to get to him. <laughs> um, I can feel there's another one on his other side. Let me see if maybe he'll let me get it. Yeah, oh, there's quite a large one actually. Oh, yeah. A couple, a couple larger ones. And see, they're it's kind of up. coming out, but these larger bits here aren't going to. It's down there. So I need to rescue my scissors. Yeah, and I cut away from him. This is a fairly large one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut right through it. I'm very aware of where his leg is. I can feel everything here. And I've cut straight through the mat, not underneath it. But that's yes. okay, because I don't want to get too close to his skin. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. This one has some, some matter in it. <laughs> so I feel like if you have an Angora or any sort of long-haired rabbit, Mm. You're always going to have to deal with mats. Now here's a good example of the mat that has been growing out. Mm -hmm. here's, here's where it was, and now you can see some clean uh, fur underneath that's really easy to cut right through and free up the, the remnant of the mat that we cut off earlier. And this whole time, as you can see, uh, Beans is just pretty relaxed. He's like, chill. Just... Be aware and always turn your scissors away from the body. It'll be pretty safe. You would shear their, if you wanted to shear them and keep their hair short, you would shear them the same way, it's just turning the scissors away as you clip their whole body. Again, just make sure you're very familiar with the contours of how their body is. You're not clipping their toes or their backbones are actually kind of sharp and you're not obviously shearing them to the skin. They will always have hair. It will just be short. And that is the basics of grooming and caring for an Angora rabbit. If you have any questions, feel free, feel, feel free to email us um, at idolonhouse at gmail.com. Bye.